Hi everybody, in this exercise we have a truss that is shown in front of you here and we have to determine the forces in each member of the roof truss. Okay, so let's start the solution procedures of this exercise. We start a new project and we choose truss from here. Okay, now from the truss library we select the the most suitable one we select the most suitable one so this one is similar to this one so we choose select it and click on OK the length of this truss is given as 12 and the height we can check what is the height it's not given but we can find it from here we draw a line from here up to here so this segment would be 2 meters and this angle is 60 so we use the trigonometric functions to find the length of this segment after all its length will be three point four six four okay so so as we said sine sixty equals to two over x that means x equals to four and we use this number to find sine 60. Sine 60 equals to x over 4. x in this case means this one, this side. That means x equals to 3.4641. And that's it. We insert it here, T point four six four. And number of fields I make them as three. That means number of fields in each sec then click on OK. Now we assign supports. We have here hinged and here we have a roller as it's shown here. So Paint for this direction and roller for here. That's it. The next step is assigning loads. We have three kilonewtons, two and three. And we have here also the reactions are pre calculated. So don't worry about them. The software would calculate them automatically. So we add the load types number one and number two. Then what type of, of loads uh, do we have to add? They are nodal forces. So number one is minus two, okay, for this node, and minus three for this one and also this one okay after we have added the desired loads we start the analysis okay after that let's check the reactions Correct, we have four and four from here and from here. So the next step is finding the forces in each member and uh, specifying whether they were tension or compression. So diagram of bars, 
turn off the reactions and then go to N2 NTM FX forces and their description from here okay we want them to be filled okay that's good and labels and from this diagram we would not know whether they were in tension or in compression so click on differential differentiated and then apply as it's shown here the yellow one is the tension and the blue one is the compression now the final step is comparing these values with the given one in the textbook We start with uh, node A. We have 8 and we have 6.9. We have 8 and this value is the same as this one, 6.93. That's correct. The rest of values, we have 3 kilonewtons GF. GF, this value is 3 and we have and it's in compression and uh, gb it's three and gf is five and also in compression so we have three and we have five and they are in blue that means compression the last point is fbf 1.73 and its intention BF BF its intention already but we don't we don't know what is the value of the internal force so right click on it and object properties NTM FX 1.73 the same as here 1.73 so that's pretty much it this is the end of this video thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe and like and share bye